So, you've been playing around in FL Studio a lot lately and you finally decided that it's time to learn how the compressor works. After messing around, you find yourself ruining your audio rather than improving it. So you decide to quit and throw it all away. Yeah, I know it can be overwhelming, but it's actually not that difficult. Let's start with how a compressor actually works and why we use it. It's a tool that reduces the difference between the loudest and the softest part of a audio signal. In other words, reducing the dynamic range. For example, when a rapper is recording in a studio, the gap between the low and the high volumes of the rapper's voice is simply too much and that doesn't really sound good. This happens when he, for example, moves away from the mic or comes a bit closer or sings a bit louder. And this is a problem because you want the vocal to be at a consistent volume. And that is when a compressor is used. Open up the fruity limiter and then go to the compressor section. I'm using this one because it's easier to explain it visually. As you're playing the piano melody, you will see the audio wave here. Starting with the loudness. The makeup gain button is a control you can use to increase the loudness after compressing. By compressing a sound we actually lose some of the volume and with this knob we can actually fix that. Easy. The threshold. Well, with this knob you can set the level above which the signal will be compressed. Everything below this line will not be touched. If you set it to zero the compressor won't do anything. So it only starts working from the moment you lower the threshold below the input peaks of your sound, which you can see here. The ratio. With this knob you can set the amount of compression to be applied once the threshold is exceeded. The higher you put the ratio the more aggressive the compression compressor will work. The knee. Well, with this knob you can control how fast you go from no compression to full compression once the threshold is crossed. It kind of works together with the threshold. You can basically see it as the attack of the threshold. Test. If you set it to a softer knee, you can see that the line is bent. Then the compression will apply gradually or a little slower. And that will make the compression or the audio sound a bit smoother. Oh, and it's also really important to hit that like button. If you do that, the compressor will work for itself and you do not have to learn anything. And, and, and you also get muscles without going to the gym. <laughs> Just kidding, I would really appreciate that, 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 that little button. Now, let's talk about the envelope. If you're into mixing, you've probably already seen this meme right here. It's kind of funny, but as stupid as it looks, it's actually true. So, take a screenshot, because this can really remind you how a compressor works. The attack is a control that you can use to tweak how fast the general compression will kick in. Now, don't mix this up with the knee. The knee is measured in decibels, and the attack is measured in milliseconds. Also, the attack works on the entire compression. The knee only works together with the threshold. Really important. With the curve control, you can set both the attack and the release curves. This is basically the tension between them. You can choose between eight curves, and the higher you go, the slower the attack and release will be. Take a look at this picture. Here you can see all the eight graphs. Okay, but what does the release do? That control lets you decide how fast the compressor stops working. You always want to have a little bit of release, because otherwise your sound may become a bit distorted. Unless you have a specific reason for doing that, of course. With the sustain knob, you can control the sustain time, and by increasing it, you can prevent the envelope from from releasing too quickly. With this control you can decide how long it takes for the release to start working. Now let's talk about side chaining. This one is really important, for example when you want your 808 and kick to work together. I really think you should know that, so definitely check out this video right here where I will teach you everything about that. That's all we said. Alright. And now I gotta go. Goodbye.